So, hey, 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 hello, I'm Adria, as always, from KajabiExpress.com And today I have uh, something uh, really, really, really interesting and something that a lot of you have been asking and that's how you can make your Kajabi forms to be submitted to your email because uh, there's a lot of people creating contact as pages so this, you know, this page that is somewhere in your site and allows people to contact you and the problem right now is that you can create a form but there's no way to make those uh, data, this data in your form to get into your email so I said okay AJ you have to do this uh, for your users so let's see how we can create and how we can connect your Kajabi forms with your email so whenever someone submits something in your Kajabi site it gets straight into your email let's go ahead and let's see how we can do that I'm here inside the Kajabi admin inside marketing and opt-in forms and I have already here some forms created if you don't make sure to check out my other video that should appear, uh, should appear over here on the screen where I explain how these uh, Kajabi forms how they work and how you can create more new forms and how you can add fields etc so if you don't have any form created and you have tops make sure to check out this video otherwise you're fine for continuing. I'm gonna be using this demo form that I have here inside the opt-in forms and I already added some fields that you can see here name, email, phone, number and address and uh, yeah so w the, the, the purpose of this video of this tutorial is we're gonna be sending this information via email to our email. For that we're going to be using Zapier and if you don't have Zapier you can create a free account that it's more than enough for what we will be doing so you don't have to pay for it and it's in zapier.com and we're going to be starting by creating a new Zap. Now here it asks us to create a new trigger and the trigger app that we will be using is Kajabi. So if you search for Kajabi here and this doesn't appear that means that you are not in the beta list of Kajabi for Zapier. So if that happens, make sure to check out the description below this video in YouTube because I'm gonna be posting there a link for you to subscribe to this beta of the Kajabi Zapier. If you have already Kajabi here, then perfect, you are fine, you can continue with the video. Otherwise, please make sure to check out the description, click on the video and join the, the beta for Zapier before proceeding for the next step. So we're gonna select Kajabi here and we're going to select new form submission because we want to trigger this uh, step inside uh, Zapier whenever someone submits a new form. So we're gonna save and continue. Select our account. If you haven't, if you, you've never uh, connected your Kajabi account, with Zapier, it's really easy and pretty straightforward. But as always, if you have any question, just post a comment below the video and I will try to help you. So I have already my account connected and I can save and continue. And here uh, we have to select which of our Kajabi sites we want to select. As you know, guys know, I have Skills Airport and I have Kajabi Experts. So I'm gonna select Kajabi Experts site for Kajabi. The next step is to select our form and as I said, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, yeah, it's oh demo form, so it's the demo form. So you have to select here the form that you want to add uh, when that you want to for this trigger to, to trigger itself. So I'm gonna hit continue and it tells us that we make sure that we have submitted some uh, testing data. So I'm gonna just head back hit preview on my form and I'm gonna send some uh, fake data here so blah 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 okay so we submit some data and once we submitted that data we can come here and say fetch and continue it says text test successful we can continue and then the next step is the important step. So what are we going to do with this data? And what we want to actually do is to send the data via email. So we want to receive that data 
on our email. So we're gonna search here for email and we have one that is called email by Zapier. So we select this one and just hit save and continue. And here we just need to fill the data. So the first step is to, to who is going to be send this email. So in this case, I'm gonna send the email to myself. So Adria at adriahimena.com. The subject is gonna be new form submission by by and the name we can add fields here because we have our fields so we can add one field here and this is going to be the name so the subject of my email is going to be new form submission by whatever name so whoever submitted the form in the body of our email we're going to be writing the actual data so we have here, let's go back. We have the name, I think. Yeah, name, email, phone, and address. So we're gonna say uh, someone submitted, so someone sent, sent a new form data. And we're gonna say name, we add the name, uh, email. We add the email, phone, we add our form. If you have a lot of fields here, you can search here. So we would say phone and what else? Address. It's gonna be address. So address line one, because we are not using those fields. So we just have address line one. Attachment, nothing from name. We're gonna add the name, name. Reply to, we're gonna say the email. Here we have it. Nothing here, nothing here. And well, that's up to you. So it says force line breaks, set this to yes if your emails are received without line breaks or spacing. But that's not our case. So we can hit continue. And uh, it says here that we can test this step, but I'm gonna, uh, well, you can test it out, but for this video, so you can say create and continue, but for this video, I'm gonna do an actual, a real test. So I'm gonna just keep test, continue. We're gonna name our zap. So this is a um, demo form. It's, I think it's called, yeah, demo form to email and we're gonna turn it on. Remember always to turn your zap on, otherwise uh, you just uh, wasted some, some of your time because it's not gonna be doing anything. So this is on and we can try it out here in our form preview. So this time I'm gonna write uh, charles, charles at gmail.com, it's the guy who's gonna Oops, I forgot an S, who is gonna be sending us an email. His phone number is a really, really very cool phone number. We have one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one. And the other is, is no street, no number one. And we're gonna hit subscribe. Now I'm gonna go back to my email and let's see where we have the email. And here we have it. Sorry, it took me a while because how I have configured my email, but we have here a new form submission by Charles. And if I open the email, we see it here. So it says someone sent new form data, Charles, email, phone, address, and everything. So we can actually hit reply and it goes to the person who submitted his information. So you see, it's something easy to do with Zapier and it allows you to send your form via email. So if just remember, if you add a now a new form, you just create a new Zap and you're done. You have your, your connection from the form to your email. As always, thank you for watching this video and hit the thumbs up button if you liked it and you want more videos like this one and subscribe to the channel to never miss any of my videos. Thank you very much.